authentication using REST template, but there are a lot of things we're doing wrong here, all right? Starting with hard coding the URL. This is bad, right? Why is this bad? Exactly, you should be discovering the service. And it should be dynamic. We encountered a problem right now. I forgot that I changed the port and I got into, got into an error. That shouldn't happen. It, there should be some way for it to figure out, okay, the, where is the service running? And then pick it up from there. That's the first thing we have to fix. The, the idea is this has to come from somewhere else. It should not be hard coded. Could you put it into a property file? Technically, yes, you could. You get a little bit more flexibility but then you, instead of making changes to the code, you gotta change the property file, which is also not fun. The second thing is creating an instance of REST template. Where is the REST template instance being created here? It's being created in the get catalog method, okay? When does this method run? It runs every time a request comes in to get the catalog. Every time I refresh this browser, there's a new REST template created for that fraction of a second and then it's disposed of. It's a waste. You don't want to do that in a live microservice. You want to have one instance and use that for multiple calls. How do you create a single instance of any object in, a spring, in any Spring application and have it shared across multiple other uh, classes? You create a bean, right. And beans in Spring are, by default, singletons. So all you need to do is put this in a bean and then use dependency injection to say, hey, Spring, give me that one instance. So to create a bean, there are again like a gazillion ways to do it in Spring, I'm going to use the add bean annotation. And what this does is, are you guys familiar with the add bean annotation? You basically stick it on top of any method, right? And then it basically executes that method and then maps it to the type. Let's say you have a method uh, which returns an object foo. It says, okay, anybody who needs foo, I'm going to inject that return of that method. So I'm going to create a method here, which is public, rest template. You can call this method anything you want. It's just the return type that matters. And then, oops. I'm going to put an add bean here. What this is going to do is, Spring is going to execute this method. Whatever you return, it's going to say, hey, REST template maps to this one instance. So anybody auto wires REST template, they're going to get this one instance. All right? So this method executes just once. Now here I can do return new REST template. And Spring is going to hold on to it. And anytime I need to use it, I create a property of a class of that same type. And again, the name here doesn't matter. But as long as I auto wire it, use the at auto wired annotation, I'm basically telling Spring somebody has a bean somewhere of type press template, inject me that thing. All right? So Spring says, oh, I know, I have this guy here, and it's going to inject that. Autoware is a consumer. You, you, when you say autoware, you're basically telling Spring, give me something. Okay? The add bean annotation is a producer. You're telling Spring, hey, I have something that other people will need. So execute this method and save it somewhere. When someone says, give me something, look at this and give it to them. Right? So that's what bean does. So this is a producer. You're telling Spring, execute this method and save this instance somewhere. Does, it, does that answer your question? Okay. But when does it like, really execute? When, when we call rest, on, rest template or something, that thing is still execute? Uh, no. When the print comes up, it's still execute. So there are different ways of, again, this is configurable. You can lazy initialize beans or you can eager initialize beans. When you eager initialize beans, Spring is going to look at every add bean annotation, execute the method, and save it somewhere. I think the default is lazy, but I could be wrong. When, the, when lazy ex execution happens, Spring is going to first say, I'm going to create an instance of this class, right? Creates an instance of the class, and it sees, oh, this guy is auto-wired. So let me fetch an instance of this REST template, because that's what it needs to inject. 
And then it looks at all the add bean, says, hey, this is an add bean, which returns rest template, which is exactly what I need. So it's going to execute it then and then inject it. But then it executes it only once. Singleton is the default. The subsequent time anybody needs auto-wired rest template, it's going to inject that same thing. So the time of initialization might differ from eager to lazy, but it is going to inject just once. It could be anywhere. Uh, it could be in any add component, as long as it's in the class path. As long as it's a spring bean itself, okay. a class is a spring bean itself, and it has a method with add bean, and it's in the class path, it's fine. It, ca it catches it. It's just that the, that one class happens to be in the class path, so that was an easy way for me to put it there. The name doesn't matter. The type matters. Yeah. Yeah. I think you get an error. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have to qualify it. There are ways in which you can give it a name. I think it's a type or something. There's, an, there's another annotation. And then when you do add auto wired, you have to say, give me of that type. So you might have one REST template for your internal uh, communication. You might have another REST template for external communication. You have to give it a qualifier. You have to tag it a certain way when you put an add bean. And you also have to tag it when you do add auto wired. So that Spring knows which one to inject. So you have to do both. But yeah, typically it's just one one instance that you use. All right, so now I have the REST template here. I'm not going to create an instance over here. I'm going to get rid of this, and it's going to use the the instance that's injected. I'm going to restart this. You're not going to see any difference, but then uh, in your heart, you know that you've done the right thing. You've not created multiple instances. Yeah, still works exactly the same way.